Welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings. Tarot Readings from the heart. Long time no see, guys. I'm usually now just behind the camera showing the cards. Thought it would be a nice treat just to come back this week. Uh, mainly because one of my clients last week said, oh, wow, you know, it's so nice because I usually just show the cards on, you know, just show the table with the cards on the readings, uh, personal readings as well. Um, but when my client said to me, uh, one of the clients last week said, Oh, wow, Carol, it's so great to see you. I've never seen you before. I was like, okay, <laughs> you've never seen me before. That's interesting. Because when I started the channel, I was actually recording with me on it all the time until I just thought well, it's really nice just to show cards as well. So, yeah, this is what I look like for those of you that don't know what I look like. This is me. I'm the one behind the camera on Carol's Universe recording all these lovely videos for you. Blank, I want you guys this week to uh, see what I look like and uh, enjoy your reading. My old kind of, you know, my old muckers, male subscribers who I love dearly know exactly what I look like. But some people don't. So I just wanted you to know what I look like, who I am. It's, it's just good that you can put a face to kind of the hands and who's doing the cards and stuff. All right. So we're going to get on with your reading and uh, yeah, have a really good week. Enjoy your reading. Take care. Hi Libra. Welcome to Carol's Universe. Tarot readings. Tarot readings from the heart. So we're going to do your um, week ahead reading. This is the 19th to the 25th of um, August 2019. We're doing the weekly check-in. So looking at your current self in the week and the theme of the week. We're going to be using today, it's a deck I've had ages, but I never use it for some reason. It's so beautiful. The Next World Tarot by Christy C. Road. Started off as an indie deck and then went on to Amazon. Really, really good deck. Uh, we are then for your key goal for the week, obstacles that you need to overcome and any accomplishments that you could be making. We use the beautiful uh, Tarot of the Hidden Round by uh, Je Juliet Jeffrey Illustrating and Barbara Moore Text. Um... We are then using for uh, what you need to avoid during the week, what you need to embrace during the week, and uh, where you can find support. We use uh, a new deck of mine, it's absolutely stunning. The Angels, The Influence of the Angels Tarot, really, really nice, by Jody Beginsky, Barb Bessie. Okay. Uh, spiritual Guidance this week comes from my good old trusty Angel Answers by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. For your 15 card. Uh, reading at the end, looking at other general energies, love, finance, and career. We use Deborah Blake's Everyday Witches Tarot. Beautiful deck again. And spiritual advice for love. We use the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. For work and money, we use Angels of Abundance by Doreen Virtue and Grant Virtue. And finally, any other spiritual advice, we use the Tea Leaf Fortune cards. All right, let's get cracking, guys. Okay, Libra, your cards are down. Let's have a look at you, who you are for the week, Libra. You are the uh, Four of Swords. Nice. Uh, rest, respite, healing. Some of you guys are really kind of going into a bit of hermit mode. This particular uh, version of the Four of Swords, I really love this deck. I don't know why I don't use it, but you can see at the bottom it's... Um, and actually it's Jupiter in your sign, isn't it? I don't do astrology, so I don't really know much about it. Jupiter is the planet of expansion, though, and luck, isn't it? So... Uh, Jupiter in Libra, respite. I uh, see you guys uh, taking a bit of a break, taking some time out this week. You might be off work, some of you guys you might be on holiday. You might be taking a bit of a break from work. You might literally be on holiday. Uh, I mean, if you look here, the guy's sitting down and he's at a typewriter and, you know, he's got a drink and uh, he's got his bike and um, he's got his, you know, shoes off, you know, his feet are together. He's quite cosy. So I just think that this week it's a week for convalescing for some of you guys. If you've been ill, it's about kind of healing. Um, you know, if you've had a really kind of rough time of it, it's a time about trying to heal and just to gain a bit of respite and a little bit of perspective with the Four of Swords energy. It sounds really, really boring, actually, who you are this week, but you need it. It sounds like you need it. Uh, the word respite is all about just taking a bit of a break and uh, being able to get a bit of healing in and a bit of time to yourself to do the things that you want to do. Uh, it's not about rushing around. It's about convalescing and just getting well. It's all about wellness and well-being. So some of you guys might be involved in meditation. It is a four of swords. Four of swords can be the card of meditation. Four of swords can be the card of prayer. Uh, four of Swords can simply be, you know, I'm just going to relax. I'm going to spend time in bed watching all my favourite shows, eating all my favourite, you know, 
foods, I'm going to spend time on the sofa just watching a box set. So I'm just seeing you guys really relaxing this week, some of you. Some of you guys are like, <laughs> fat jams, no I'm not, I'm busy. But some of you guys, it's saying that this week, and even if you're not relaxing, even if you are at work, Libra, and you are, you have got a busy, a busy week, uh, this week it's about at least taking some time to yourself with that, uh, with that Four of Swords energy. Uh, there will be times this week then you'll feel it's necessary to take a break and just to sit back and do a bit of withdrawal and then probably do a little bit of a quiet reflection as well for some of you guys because Four of Swords is also about going inward and doing some quiet reflection. So some of you guys probably going inward and doing quiet reflection as well with that Four of Swords sitting there. They're massive, these cards. I really love them. Um, and what's the theme of the week for you? Yeah, there you go. It's the same thing, temperance. Temperance is all about just getting the energy back. Again, we've got Jupiter showing here. Okay, Sagittarius. Wheel of Fortune is another Sagittarius card. Uh, and that's ruled by Jupiter, obviously. The Wheel of Fortune. Jupiter is the planet of expansion. Um, temperance healing. Again, another card about getting that harmony and that right balance, the balance flowing. She's pouring the water. I mean, she's not pouring from one bottle into the other, but she's, she's you know, the card temperance suggests I need to get some form of... And usually when we get the temperance card, it's all about the emotional balance. So this is definitely something about emotional balance with the temperance energy. And it sits very, very well with the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords and temperance together are an amazing combination because the cards are so still... And the cards are very indicative of needing to go inward with the Four of Swords energy, needing to heal, temperance energy, needing to heal with the Four of Swords, go inward and get some balance and harmony, especially when it comes to the emotions. So the Four of Swords is often to, I mean, it's definitely a card about, yeah, physical healing as well. This is the card that would represent a hospital bed or would represent, uh, you know, coming out of a time of illness, that type of thing. But because it's swords, swords represent the mind and thoughts. So when we do the Four of Swords, often we're just kind of taking a bit of a step back and we're doing some quiet reflection and we're just gaining perhaps a perspective on things from a very uh, strong emotional point of view because temperance is all about getting that balance and harmony going on an emotional front. If you look at something like your card, which is justice, that's about getting a balanced mind. Okay, that's about having a balanced perspective, but temperance is all about having a balanced soul and having and be, feeling balanced emotionally. So I feel that some of you guys are really going inward this week. That's you, because the theme of the week is all about harmony, bringing harmony back into your life. And to do that, some of you guys actually do need to kind of rest, get a bit of respite going there. Uh, some of you guys need to take a break uh, with that Four of Swords. It's been a really hectic time for some of you guys. And in order to achieve balance and harmony of your soul, this is something that some of you guys will probably need to do this week. Also, temperance, uh, it's definitely about trying to achieve balance and harmony and, and equilibrium, but it's also about trying to achieve the right blend, or it's about doing the right thing. So some of you guys might be going inward to try and gain some perspective in terms of maybe just doing the right thing with the temperance energy showing there. What is your goal for the week, Libra? Well, it's about leaving something behind, the Eight of Cups. Some of you guys, are the goal is to leave something behind with that Eight of Cups energy. And that's probably why you, some of you guys are going within. You're, you know, this is a week of quiet reflection with the uh, Four of Swords showing here, Libra. Because it's about doing the right thing, getting that balance just right. Uh, and in order to do that, your goal is really, and, and because of that, the goal is really well well, it's, it's based on the goal, I guess. The goal is to leave something behind that no longer serves you emotionally. That's the Eight of Cups ethos. Uh, and that's why some of you guys are going within mentally, just detaching a little bit mentally in order to gain some answers because it's about getting, you know, the right, doing the right thing, getting the balance right. Temperance is all about patience and getting that flow, getting that balance right. So, you know, it's about getting the right measurement. It's about everything in equality and balance with the temperance energy. What is the uh, article that you need to overcome? An ace of pentacles is what you need to overcome. I think that some of you guys have just started something here. Because the ace of coins is when you've just 
when you've just planted a seed. So this is a new card. This is all aces represent new beginnings, or at, you're at the beginning stage of a situation, or it's something that's new. So it's a new beginning, or being at the beginning stage. And I think that you're at the article is, is that I think some of you guys just started something here. The Ace of Coins. I think he's just started investing and started in building something with this Ace of Coins energy. And just judging from everything here so far, because this kind of throws something in the works here. The Ace of Coins represents when it's, a, it's new. There's a seed that's just been planted. So this would probably be a new venture. It could be a business venture, for example. It could be a new job, for example, with the Ace of Coins energy. It could be something that you've just freshly invested in. But there's something new that was planted here, and that's the obstacle that you need to overcome, that you've actually started uh, planting a seed. For some of you guys, it might be the obstacle is your work, your job. For some of you guys, it might be the obstacle is money with the Ace of Coins energy because your goal is to leave something behind. But the obstacle might be, well, what about the money with the Ace of Coins energy? Or, you know, I've just started this thing with the Ace of Coins, just started building this thing and now I want to leave it behind, that type of thing. And that's why it's going to take a lot of thought with this Four of Swords energy in order to achieve clarity because you want to make sure that you're doing it, you know, the right thing with the temperance energy showing there. Let's have a look at what your um, what you could be accomplishing. Well, the four of cups is what you could be accomplishing uh, by the end of the week, and this is turning something down because the four of cups is saying no, and four of cups is all about being offered an opportunity, but. And effectively saying, no, I don't want that opportunity. And being selective is the Four of Cups energy. Sometimes it's thinking that the grass is greener on the other side. But this is in a positive position because it's the accomplishment position. So we have to look at the Four of Cups as being a positive card. So what you could be accomplishing is, I mean, it might be that you're accomplishing an offer by the end of the week. Whether you take it or not, it'll be up to you. Because Four of Cups usually is one of those cards where it says something is given, but it's not necessarily received. Um... What do you need to avoid? Page of Wands is what you need to avoid. I think you need to avoid doing things in a hasty manner or doing things because they seem exciting. Because that's the Page of Wands. That's what the Page of Wands does. The Page of Wands is a young traveller. And what he tends to do is he tends to put his little needle on a map. And he says, oh, that looks good. And then he says, right, I'll go there. I don't know much about it, but I'm just going to go there because it looks really good. He doesn't do any research. The one people, they're not high on research. Not really. If something feels good, they generally do it because they rely heavily on their intuition. If it feels good, then for them, sometimes it must be good. So I feel that you need to avoid with the Page of Wands kind of doing stuff because it feels good rather than kind of you know, researching whether it is going to be good. And I think that you will do that anyway, because you're doing the Four of Swords. That's you in the week. This is not the card of making rash decisions. It's a card about sitting back and analysing. It's about doing a little bit of inner self-reflection and analysing a situation privately on one's own. So you probably aren't going to do that, but it it's just saying here, with the page, page of wands means many, many things. It can mean messengers, it can mean sending messages, it can mean communicate. It's usually a communicative card, but also he's young. So this is a card about a child, a young person. This person's happy-go-lucky, excited, enthusiastic for the future, likes to travel. That's what the one people like to do. Likes to experience different things. He's an explorer. He's like the page of swords, very similar, likes to experiment. So it's almost like you need to avoid experimenting or exploring something without actually really looking into it, you know. Uh, what do you need to embrace? The Queen of Coins. Okay, so the Queen of Coins is very diligent when it comes to, you know, uh, getting the lowdown and stuff, you know. You need to embrace that you need to make sure that you do your research with the Queen of Pentacles energy, Make sure that everything is in its place. Make sure that everything is ordered. Make sure, and also, you know, the Queen of Coins is all about being grounded and being responsible. So you need to embrace the fact that you're going to need to be really responsible uh, in this situation with the Queen of Coins energy. You need to approach the situation as the Queen of Coins would, in a very methodical, very kind of rational um in a very practical way. So this is about looking at all of the, you know, 
and everything from every perspective as the Queen of Pentacles does. You know, um, is it viable that you should do this? What would be the consequences if you did do it? Uh, are you going to be okay? Maybe this is a financial thing. Will you be okay financially if you do do it? You know, these are all the questions that the Queen of Coins would ask. But you need to embrace the Queen of Coins. And that you need to approach this situation in a very kind of practical, honest, down-to-earth, method methodical way. And avoid kind of rushing into stuff with the Page of Wands. Because the Page of Wands, the energy of the Page of Wands is very childish. Very, very childlike. And he approaches things with a child's energy. One of um, curiosity. One of interest. But, you know, it, Page of Wands will jump over a bridge without even thinking about it. Because he wants to see what's on the other side. And then, you know, he'll have to room... You know, he'll have to deal with the consequences later. The Queen of Pentacles isn't going to do that. She's going to have a look at what the drop is. Is there going to be a drop? Will she get across safely? Because coins are cautious people. So, and also the Queen of Coins, uh, she's also known as being a woman that takes a long time to make up her mind. So you might need to embrace, this isn't a person, this is a facet of you, that you're going to have to be quite diligent and you're going to have to be quite patient whilst you're making up your mind and making a decision on this with the Queen of Coins rather than rushing in with that Page of Wands energy. If you need support, where can you go for it? Well, you can go to the Five of Cups for support, which is interesting because the Five of Cups on its positive side means look behind you. Don't wallow in, you know, self-pity, uh, you know, uh, look at the two cups because there's always something positive of a situation um i don't think you can go to a person who's dealing with a situation like this with the five of cups but maybe you can go to because i think libra this is probably you showing here and i feel that there is uh maybe you're thinking quite negatively to a certain extent about the situation but i feel that if you need support there are your angels your angels are actually behind you as well so it might be, and this is why I like this deck, because you can always see the angels on there. So if you need support, go to your angels, because they will have a solution for you. Can you see the cup? That In the cup is the solution, it's the remedy. So if you need help, go to your angels, because they will have a remedy for you. They will help you find a way. We're going to quickly do this reading again before we get the... Uh, the uh, spiritual advice for the week, Libra. You guys, this week, it's all about uh, going within this week um gaining some perspective and insight on a situation because the theme of the week is all about you trying to find the correct balance and trying to find the correct remedy uh in a situation this is this could involve a merger with the temperance energy between you someone else or that type of thing um this could involve a collaboration with the temperance energy showing here uh, but also this could simply be about just about you kind of getting, doing the right thing and getting the right balance. Just doing the right thing. Just making sure that, you know, every decision you make with the Four of Swords energy is a balanced decision. And it's going to be beneficial. Uh, your goal is to leave something behind that no longer serves you with the Eight of Cups energy. You're looking actually towards the Eight of Coins. You're looking for a new opportunity, I think, here. Could be work, it could be love, it could be anything. I'll leave it open to you. But what's standing in your way is the Ace of Coins. Now, some of you guys might already be committed to something with that Ace of Coins energy. Because that's another way to look at the Ace of Coins commitment. Some of you guys might already build, be building something with the Ace of Coins energy showing there. Some of you guys, it might be money with the Ace of Coins energy showing here. But by the end of the week, what you could be accomplishing is uh, the potential. There could literally be an offer on the table. So what you could be accomplishing is literally... A potential to do this because the four of cups in its good light is all about there are offers around you there are plenty of opportunities that are opening up to you there's three on the floor and there's one that's being handed to you as well so you know if your goal is to leave something behind and to move towards a new opportunity what you're accomplishing is that these opportunities by the end of the week and going into the consequent weeks well they'll be open and available by the end of the week because four of cups is not a decision card you need to avoid rushing into anything or taking whatever is on offer because it looks good. Because that's what the Page of Wands would do. You also need to avoid saying yes. Because the Page of Wands is a yes card and he's likely to say yes. You also need to avoid probably making any announcements that you're doing this. 
until you're certain of what your you know what your decisions are because this is a big gob this is somebody who's got a big mouth he makes announcements you know he shouts his mouth he's quite a show off he likes people to know what he's got what he's up to so also besides rushing into things with haste because they look good Besides saying yes to maybe whatever opportunity is opening up to you within the next few weeks, Libra, you also need to avoid announcing that you're leaving somewhere or going somewhere, okay? Because you've still got that Ace of Coins as your obstacle to overcome, which could be that you're committed to something still with the Ace of Coins. So you've even just started doing something. So you need to avoid kind of announcing what I'm going because, you know, it's either about money or it's about that you've just started doing something here or it's about that you're committed to something. So avoid that because... You need to embrace it. You need to take time to make that decision, which is people hate the Queen of Coins for that because she takes so long. But you need to embrace that you're going to have to err on the side of caution. You're going to have to go through everything concerning whatever this opportunity is or opportunities are that present themselves to you, Libra. You're going to need to go through everything with a fine-tooth comb, which is what she does. She's not your Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is a great character, but the Queen of Wands is like her younger brother or her son, the page of ones, they're like, oh, that looks good. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, no, no problem. Yep, yep, that's fine. She's not like that. She's like, okay, let me think about what the processes are. That's your queen of coins for you. And let me just get back to you. And I will get back to you, but I'm going to take time to kind of look through all of this with, in fine detail, you know, and then I'll make a decision within the next two weeks. That's what she does. So just appreciate that this is a process and it's going to take time. OK, and also you need to embrace that you need to use your wisdom. OK, uh, the wisdom that you have, the wisdom that the experience, your wisdom will be based on the experiences that you've already had, because that's the Queen of Coins for you. So there's no rushing into this. You don't have the luxury of doing that, because if you rush into whatever this is, you're going to make mistakes. And she hates making mistakes. She really does. And if you need support go to your angels you might think that all is lost oh all is lost woe betide i can't make a decision i don't know what to do it's all falling apart but the angels are behind you saying well look we have a solution in the cup the, the cup holds many things within the tarot so go to your angels meditate you've been doing it there all along the angels will bring you what you need let's have a look at what your spiritual advice is universe spirit what is the spiritual advice that you have for Libra, just give me in a sentence. I'll stop reading the cards when the sentence stops. What is the advice, spiritual advice you have for Libra concerning this reading? It's telling you to remain positive, Libra. That came out. Remain positive. Oh, and the situation will improve. What a lovely message. But get more information. Sorry about that. I'm just going to turn this person off. So remain positive. The situation will improve. And get more information. Okay, um, if you believe, so we'll bring these up, remain positive Libra, the situation will improve and get more information. If you believe, you'll have success. Okay, um, yeah, that's where it stops. So, your angels are telling you, remain positive Libra, the situation is going to improve, but you need to get more information. If you believe, then you will have success. All right, we're going to quickly do your 15 card reading. Bear with me. Libra, our card's down. Let's have a look at the other general energies coming in. So we have strength. Some of you guys need to have strength this week, okay? Could also be a Leo individual, but there is a need for strength, okay? Uh, the lovers. Okay, there's a need for strength in a partnership here this week. Okay, also some of you guys are going to find strength in the partner that you have, in the relationship that you have this week as well. But there's definitely a need for strength in the partnership that you have with someone. Also, this is a strong partnership as well. Strength in the lover's energy showing here. Okay, ten of coins. This is nice. I'm seeing strength in the relationships that you have this week. So... Uh, this can be your romantic relationships. This can be your working relationships. But I'm seeing a lot of strength in the relationships that you have within the home, within your work, which is really nice energy. Let's have a look. Uh, the two of cup. Oh, my God. You've got really good cards. You've got beautiful cards. There is a real kind of... 
emotional connection for some of you guys happening between you and your partners this week, uh, Libra, because you've got these wonderful cards, strength, the lovers, ten of pentacles, two of cups. This is really nice. What's the next card showing up here? Oh, wow, look, ace of cups, real love, just love. An abundance of love this week. Oh, my goodness. It's been, it's very rare sometimes that you see such a collection of wonderful cards. And when you see that, you know that the tower is really talking about something strong happening. This is amazing. I mean, we've got one major, no, two majors, sorry, and the rest of pips. But these are two of the best majors that you can get as far as I'm concerned for love. Because strength is all about a strong bond. And the lovers is a bond energy. It's a bond. It's a, it's a connection. It's a relationship that's very bonded. It's very united uh, on all levels. That's what the lovers is. It's about having a strong connection on all levels. Sexual, emotional, uh, spiritual, psychic. Very connected. This is a strong bond this week. Some of you guys are going to find a really strong connection with your lover this week within the home. Okay, there's a lot of love here, an overflow, an overabundance of love and connection happening. You might find that your partner does nice things for you this week, uh, Libra. And this wasn't even meant to be the love reading, but it's so turning out to be that. You know, you've got these Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups. You've got the Ten of Coins for a long-term, stable, secure relationship. Oh, God. Sorry, my twin sister's calling me about... <laughs> just tell me what some cards mean. I'll have to call in a little while. And then you've got the strength and the lovers. This is a very strong, united relationship. It's beautiful. This is a very good week for your relationship. If you're in one, then this should be a very, very, very good week for you and your partner. This is a beautiful, beautiful layout. Wonderful. Um, what do we actually see for love, though? Because that's talking about love there. The age of coins. Hard work is the age of coins when it comes to love. Hard work, focus, making an effort is the age of coins. Yeah, the Queen of Cups, lovely. Okay, so the Queen of Cups is all about a shared connection. And the, the Queen of Cups is also open. Emotions are open. So I'm seeing emotional receptivity and emotions being open to... There's a lot of openness to the hard work, putting effort in. You know, some of you guys are working towards putting a lot of effort into a relationship with a water sign person, Queen of Cups. But also there is an open heart. When you get cups that are open, it's all about the open heart. So that somebody's heart is open. Your heart is open to putting the effort into love. Both of you, I think, here. Because this is all about a shared connection, emotional connection. Because she's, you know, she stands in other people's shoes. So she's the type that, type that kind of connects on a psychic level with others. Um, the Seven of Coins. So, you know, the Seven of Coins is nice. Seven of Coins is review, but all, everything is a work in progress. Okay, so things are a work in progress and they're going to take time. Page of Pentacles, nice. You know, the Page of Pentacles, when it comes to love, how I see this card is that you're at the start of a journey, which is interesting. So I think that this is probably for some more for people who are probably, because this area here for love, I think we've got two love readings going on here. I think we've got one for uh, those of you who are in long-term relationships and that your relationships seem to be strengthening over the week. If you've been in a relationship with someone maybe for more than a year, probably, then I see a relationship just strengthening here. It's almost like, and you're, you're finding ways in this area here to keep the relationship fresh as well. We do have the Ace of Cups energy and we've got that Two of Cups. This should usually be a new relationship or a relationship coming in, there's new life, new energy coming in around the relationship. But I feel that because we've got this strength in lovers, and lovers is a is a is a major arcana card, and it talks about a strong union. So this is like a strong union happening here this week, and within the home, the ten of coins. So strong union within the home for you guys who are in long term relationships. I'm seeing lots of kind of you know nice things, a strong emotional connection with that two of cups energy. You've got. One, two, two soulmate cards showing here. And also strength is a soulmate card as far as I'm concerned. So you're definitely with your soulmate. Okay, you've got this ten of coins energy showing here as well. Long-term, stable, secure relationship. And the eight of cups is an abundance and overwhelming love. Feelings coming through, feelings opening up. Going, you know, dining, I'm seeing dinner, dates this week. That type of thing where both of you are expressing your feelings with the eight of cups energy. It's just really nice. 
So I feel that for you who are in a long-term relationship, you've got a really lovely week coming in with a partner. Uh, for those of you who are just starting out, I feel that there is uh, possibly putting some effort, some hard work and focus. It could be into a water sign. Things are progressing slowly with the uh, Seven of Coins. You're just at the start of the journey with the Page of Coins energy. Because pages are the start of a situation. So with the Page of Coins, it's all about just starting to build a connection with another individual with that page of coins energy sitting in there we do have some frustrations though with the five of wands and also that page of coins is looking towards a group of women as well okay i get the impression that if you this is this is entirely different from this sometimes when i get this area and it's showing me love and then sometimes this area for, for the actual love will kind of be a continuation but it's not at all this is very very different this is very different. I'm seeing two love, dif two different love situations. I think that page of coins is a person, and I think this person, male or female, is looking towards other people. So if you're kind of just dating someone, I feel that even though, I mean, some of you guys might be putting a lot of effort into an individual, a water sign, that water sign might be this page of pentacles. Things are moving slowly with the seven of coins energy, because seven of coins is a work in progress, so things are moving slowly. Uh, possibly this person's still looking at other people because five of wands is your competition when it comes to a love reading. It's competition in anything, but in a love reading, this indicates other people in the frame. And the page of coins has a desire, okay? So uh, I'm seeing possibly a water sign that you're putting some effort into Libra. Things are moving slowly, gradually. Seven of coins energy showing here. Also, things might be a little bit under review with the seven of coins. She's not standing there and looking like she's reviewing anything, but it just looks to me like things are kind of you know she's hung out the pentacles and she's going to see what comes off it the grapes are already so things are starting to show but it's a gradual process i think you know this is a gradual if, you, if you're just seeing someone just know that this is gradual and also the heart might be open to putting work into the relationship with someone from both points of view but you know it might be same with the seven of coins you know just take it easy because these seeds can you see the pentacles on the tree these seeds have just been planted and it's going to take time to show results, which is the fruit. Uh, because this person here, and it might be you that this is the Page of Coins or the other person, but I get the impression it might also be because this person still desires, Page of Coins has a desire, uh, still desires, and he likes beautiful things as well. The pentacle is beautiful. So this person still kind of is thinking on a very materialistic plane as well. The Page of Coins isn't evolved yet. He's not like a king to look at things as value. He, but he looks at things as value, but it's more in a material way. So it might be saying here that, yeah, there's a water sign involved, but also that even though the heart is open to putting effort into the relationship, uh, seven of coins, you've just planted these seeds. And it's going to take time for things to develop here because this person here, this page of coins, is young. If he's not young, then he or she has a young outlook. And they're still kind of very focused on the material, which is just looking at the body and looking at different people and that type of thing. So it might be that the relationship has still has to evolve and there is somebody around you who's still looking at other people at the same time. You're not the only one. Um, work and career. Work, career, money. I, I feel that some of you guys are going to be very busy this week. You've got that Seven of Wands energy. Everybody's asking for your time, for your attention with the Seven of Wands energy showing up here. Um the devil yeah i mean i certainly feel that you guys you're in for a very very busy week at work seven of wands means to be under duress you're really busy everybody's asking you for stuff you know what's this what's that what's the other and i feel that with the devil energy this is all about being tied to you know the grindstone which is what the devil is the devil is a card about it's ruled by capricorn it's a card about ambition hard work and focus so I'm seeing you guys being really busy in work this week. It's a very hectic work for, week for work. You're going to be really kind of snowed under with that devil energy. Very much tied up in work this week with the devil energy showing up here. Uh, and also you're, you're going to be put under a duress by a, quite a difficult boss as well. Devils showing readings because they can be difficult bosses or they can be bosses who are very kind of, they're slave masters as it were, you know. Um, so it might be that you're put under a lot of duress in work with the seven of wands. You're given a lot of responsibility by a boss, the devil energy showing here. Somebody who's quite judgmental as well with the judgment energy showing here. Somebody might be reviewing your work with that judgment energy. So, and it also might be that you, for some of you guys, you might even be facing some challenges by a very, for a, by a taskmaster. 
which is the devil energy showing here. This person might be reviewing your work with the judgment energy. Ah, the chariot reversed. That's interesting. I didn't put any reversals in this. So chariot reverse can mean um, things at a standstill, but it can also mean a lack of success. Okay, it might be that there's a decision made that you can't move, progress any further because the chariot reverse means a lack of progress. And I think a decision may be made with the judgment energy or it might be that some of you guys are feeling at a bit of a crossroads because you're not progressing with that chariot reversed. Uh, yeah, and the ten of swords energy, uh, wanting to end it, wanting to just finish, you know, get rid of the job, you know, not progressing and therefore wanting to just, you know, finish the job and end the job with that Ten of Swords energy. Also feeling kind of like, well, I feel trapped. There's nowhere to go. All right. I feel that this is more about you feeling that you can't progress, Libra. Um, I do feel that you're under duress in work uh, by a boss for some of you guys. Also, some of you guys have a lot on your plate in work. People are coming up to you. They're giving you work. They're asking you a question feeling chained to your job for some of you guys, and that might be it as well, some of you guys just really feeling chained to your job, you've got a lot of things, a lot of responsibility, and some of you guys might be making a judgment here and saying, you know what, actually I just don't feel I'm going anywhere with this job, I just don't feel like I'm progressing forward, you know, and I feel stuck with the Ten of Swords, I just feel, and all these swords in your back holding you down are probably all these people here, or it could be a nasty boss who's holding you back, you don't feel that you're progressing, and you feel that you're being held back with the Ten of Swords in your back, you know, there's a, you know, you've got a lot on your mind as well with that Ten of Swords too. A lot on your mind going on. There's a lot of overthinking and pressure. So some of you guys really, I feel, are re-evaluating your jobs this week as well. Let's have a quick look then at your advice cards before we wrap up, uh, Libra. Uh, for love, so love, the first love reading shows a really nice relationship. It shows a relationship going from strength to strength. This week, lots of nice things happening for those who are in long-term relationships with their partner. Even if you're not in a long-term relationship, some of you guys are just going to have a really nice week with the partner. What advice do you have for Libra on this first love reading? Oh, now that's interesting. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I mean, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. It might be that, you know, one of you is going away. Maybe this is an extra effort is being made this week because... Remember with the cards, you don't always have to read them like, oh my God, Shakara, they're splitting up. Separation isn't always that. Sometimes one of the partner might be going on a business trip or you might be going away to family or something like that. So time apart from your, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. The advice, and it, this might be why the effort is being made because I'm seeing a lot of effort being made in a relationship this week and it might be because you and a partner are kind of not going to be a, you know together for a certain amount of time I don't see separation here I see a effort being made because it might be going forward Libra that you and your partner are spending a little bit of time apart okay uh showing here uh let's look at the next one what uh, advice do you have for the next reading I'm seeing that there's work being done, it could be concerning a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancerian, or it's really just saying that both hearts are open to working on the relationship, but things are going to take time to develop with the Seven of Coins. One of them, it's either the Libra or the other person, could be a young Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn individual, or somebody with a young mindset who still kind of desires sex and things of the material. They've not evolved, they're still looking at other people. What is the advice you have for Librans on this particular reading? It says you need to get to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen, okay? So that's not bad either. Remember, life is nuanced. Even though I'm seeing somebody looking at someone else, okay, they're still planning to look at others. This could, because it looks like it's a fresh relationship. So just know that this relationship, and also with that seven of coins, it's going to take time to develop. You're just getting to know each other, okay? Even if one of you has kind of still got straying eyes, just give it time because you're still getting to know each other. Finally, for work, uh, universe, what is the advice that you have for work? What I'm seeing here is that uh, some Libras are under duress, probably by a boss. Devils aren't very nice bosses. They're taskmasters and they're slave drivers. Uh, and the Libra seems to be trying to make a decision with a the judgment. They're at a crossroads now. They're making a decision that they're not really progressing with the chariot. For some of them, they feel that they're being held back with that chariot energy. There are knives in their back. Maybe they feel that the devil doesn't want them to progress. Or they're just feeling that because they're slaved, they haven't got much of a work-life balance with that devil energy. They're always being asked to do stuff. 
they're still trying to make that judgment, make a decision, probably because with the chariot that they don't want to move forward with the job any longer or they can't make any progress and they feel stuck. They just feel like they can't go anywhere. What is the advice? What advice do you have this week, just in general? Flipped out for some reason. Donations, tithing and charitable work. Give joyfully to the organisations and people who spiritually support and inspire you and know that your generosity will be returned to you manifold in miraculous ways. The time, supplies, money or other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies. Okay, that's it. Brilliant reading. I'm going to quickly do the tea leaf cards. I'm just going to have a quick look and see what they've got to say to you, Libra. Universe for it. Uh, through the tea leaf cards, three cards, three positive messages, please, for Libra on this reading. It's a nice reading. We want some real positive messages to come through. Give me three positive messages for the week for Libra in three cards. So look, one, two, uh, and three. I did ask for three positive messages, please, universe, for Libra for the week. Right, family wishes coming true, the well. Kangaroo. Uh, unsettled times and need to plan ahead okay so for some of you guys there may be some unsettled times but the universe is saying to you if this is happening you do need to plan ahead and nest an emotionally secure loving family is important to you this week so it's not bad is it they're giving you some good you know some good insights this week we did ask for positive messages universe is telling you number one yeah there might be some unsettled times ahead that's life for you but you just need to plan ahead if this is happening all right uh in the well Family wishes are coming true. It's about family, a lot of this is. And the nest, an emotionally secure, loving family is going to be important to you this week. All right? That's your reading, Libra. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carriage Universe. If you'd like a private reading, click on the uh, description bar. Uh, sometimes people can't find the description bar, especially if you are, I think, maybe on a tablet or on a phone or something. But you can... Click on my new website, which I've had developed by my sister. She's wonderful. Uh, in the comments section or at the end of the video, there should be an end screen that comes up you can click on. And you can order your readings through uh, on any device, computer, uh, tablet, and also mobile phone. Okay, uh, that's it. Next week, I'm going to be doing uh, monthlies as well. That will be on my website, though, and I'll let you know when those uh, month ahead September love readings are out. Okay, take care guys. Bye-bye.